Welcome back to the channel. Today we will continue to find out node if and node switch. As I said, show it first. For simple workflows, you just need to go in a straight line. But for, in fact, these workflows are complicated, then we need to split up a lot of branches. We will learn about these node. How does it work so we know how to use it? The first is the if node. For example, let's make it easy for you to understand. This is the cylinder capacity of motorbike. If our cars are below 175 cubic centimeters, a driver's license is required A1. If it is over 175 cubic centimeters, you need a license to drive a 2. We're going to enter the fractal number here. It's going to start. It's going to fork the data out here. We will have a set. At the end of the set, we will add a variable. Set is the node we put the value in. For example, this is the number of fractions. And here's the format. It's a number, such as 110. Now, I'm going to let it go through this. This node is the root if. Now, on the interface we see, in the input code, the node in front of it will be valid today. Engine, it will pull the value in. Here, we'll have the resulting engine, which is 110. Then the comparison here, we'll choose. The number is the number. It's 110. Then we'll choose the number and the value is. Greater than as here I entered is 175. If you need to compare the numbers, click test step. It's going to work. Come on, guys. This is right and wrong. Here's what the result is false. Is false below 175. Then you see, this is the if node. It will split into two branches, true and false. Jump down here. What if I enter this value now? 300cc. If you keep going, it will jump to true. You know what this if note means. It's in here. This true branch, then it flows data to 300. And this first branch has no data. Next to this node. Then this node is created is the same simple. I'll type in the name of this set. Then put it in here. Hook it in here. It's the same below. In this set, we set. There's 300 input data here. What data will we give out? I can set it as a message and it will send a message. You need A to driver's license. Test step. It's going to run through here. So this data is the same if it's false. Less than 175 cubic centimeters. Then we'll give you a text message, a one. That's what we do when we follow it. Now, for example, here I enter the value as 50 cubes now. With this example, what driver's license do we need for a 50cc car? Then test flow here. The data will flow down here. And it's drifting out. What we notice is that you need a one driver's license. They if the data is entered as 500. Now the data will run up here. And the message is, you need a two cell driver's license. And you know the meaning of this node work. And of course, we can create a lot of conditions here. Let it come together. Process the workflow we need to create countless. It depends on the complexity of our workflow. So now we're going to another node. That switch, instead of if, there is only true and false. It only has two branches. So now we're using switch. Then it will be able, have a lot of branches. We're going to type in switch. This is our switch node. Here, I have four. It comes out to four branches. I can get as many branches as I want. Then there will be countless branches below. It depends on the purpose of our work. We see switch node. It's a bit more advanced than if node. Instead of splitting two, it will now be able to split up countless branches. It depends on our requirements. So now we're talking about the next level of knowledge. That's node data. And JSON. As you know, there is a data on the node. It'll have an input. An output. So now we're going to look at the input. What information is included? What information does it contain? And how about its structure? When you understand it, then we'll see how it works. It's simple. This example. Then you'll find yourself using a HTTP node. Download the photo. This node is a HTTP request. There it is. 
pull it in here. I use this to download photos. Let's say I put a picture link here. Then I test this. That's it. Then you see that the output data returns. Here, it's going to be like this. It turns out to be a binary. Because this is a picture. The image is a file, and this is a JPEG. Or it's the data that's JSON. There's code like this. Depending on the situation, it will be binary. Like this, or JSON. In this binary, we see the file name. This link is on my host. Extension is JPEG. This is the file size we can see. I see the photo. Or download. Drag the file back to suppose. For example, now our input is a link JSON API. You see, it returns a bunch of results. And today we're going to find out what it is. How we use expression to retrieve JSON information, as well as binary. Here it pays off a lot, a lot of information field. The first time I looked at it, it was a bit messed up, but it's actually very simple, guys. They built it to form a standard used to describe information. It's the same way. That's what we put together. JSON is stand for JavaScript Object Notation, a way to describe an object in JavaScript language, a description used in almost all software. The structure is very simple, brothers. First, it'll open braces. It will be information about the company, information about the customer's name, information about car name, and so on. There will be information to describe it, and it's going to be in braces like this. And then the value of the property. For example, what I have is a name. The name of the YouTube channel is the channel. This is call key. This is value. This is the property key, and this is the value. We can also have a lot of value. This is address, and its value is Ho Chi Minh City. If you run like this, you can see it here. That's how it would exactly. This is the key, and this is the value. The two dots are in brackets like this, and you'll notice. And with JSON, it's going to have all kinds of data. The first is the stream. I'll type the string. The second is the number. The third is Boolean. Boolean is true-false. Next up is array. Next is object. And we're doing this is object. In this object of ours, it will have many attributes. And in each of these properties, it's going to have values. The value is string. It's in this quote. If it's a number, like age, doesn't need to be in quotes. What if the boolean true false? For example, whether you make money or not, it will be worth it. True. That means this is turn on to make money. If false, it is not. Make money like that. Let's find out what's next, Array. It's listing a lot of values in there. For example, the topic of each channel. This will be a list. It lists many. Value. It's going to be in these square brackets. So in JSON, it's going to define Array. This Array, it's going to be in square brackets. For example, in this topic, it would be like this. That's the chain. This is technology. Travel review. It. Then I've defined an array. Have five elements. And the elements in here are strings. It's complicated, but that's all it is. Well, this is a format. Common rules in most software. We should know it so that we can declare. We can use it to get access to our data. So let's go a little deeper into this array. The elements in here. It doesn't have to be just a text string. It can be an object. For example, like this delete. Element inside. The element inside now. It may not be a string. That could be an object. An object. Then we can be open or pointed as we declare. In the big object here, on this topic, I may have an ID. Name. And I could also have another object. In this topic, I have ideas too. Deploy and 9 and automation. You guys noticed. Now, our properties will be separated by this comma. It's very simple. We know a lot about JSON. I'll use it a lot too. And here's the same syntax structure that exactly same. Once we understand its structure, look here. I know what it means. It have key and here is value. Once you understand its structure. Now, we're going to learn how to retrieve JSON and binary with expression when it's returned the data to us. 
What information do we need to get? How we need to retrieve data? Now, we're going to continue this part. For example, I'm going to use a set node to set the JSON value. Then, we've seen the set we learned earlier, as on the interface now we're going to set up above by JSON. You can see mode this is the manual set up by interface. We've added fields here, type like we learned earlier, but it's going to have more and more, and that's the JSON. So it's kind of like we've been looking at this before. Then choose, paste the JSON here, test step. Then you see, it comes out like this, and here it's going to show in the table, in the table, including name, age, have many topics been divided into these two. Also with schema, they will go to our information fields. So, we've defined it correctly. I understand those papers. Now, we're going to want to retrieve these JSON. What is it like? Now let's make another nodes. Next here, we will also use the set. Which node it retrieved? All right, because we have data input, but for simplicity we'll take. For example, set. For example, this node I named set JSON. And this node is access JSON. Then, for example here, I'll add the field. I want this one to have a name with H. Here is name, brothers. So we can drag and drop with JSON. Put it here. I have a name, I cut it out. That's exactly what a cool box looks like. And we see the resort results down here. JSON name is each channel, and the result of age is 10. Then we can also put a dash in the middle here. It came out like this, but if we can't imagine how to write, well, I will guide. There will be fixed here. The fixed value we enter into it will always be fixed. At the resort down here, the next thing is expression. The expression will help us access it. The data input data here. To access it, we'll use two. Two braces. This is the expression. It'll start by opening up to sharp brackets and close these to brackets. We just dragged it along and did it ourselves. And now we're going to do it ourselves. We do manually to understand it. Want to retrieve information. We'll use the sign. Here's the dollar. Dollars is that it's going to start for common variables. So here we'll have these common variables. Jason, now. IJ, we're going to click on Jason. We immediately see the results. We've got a bunch of them down here. These are the options. These are our options all the inputs here. If only we wanted to retrieve the name. So now we're dotted. It suggests to us, which option do you want? For example, if we want to get the name. So we have access to the JSON. Here get the data out result as vChannel. Similar dash to dollar brackets JSON. And then we dot to retrieve the JSON. Then we'll be worth it. So let's understand its structure. Next we will access the binary. Binary then we go back. Download this file again. Just like before, we put the link in. Node is HTTP request we press test step. We can instantly access our binary like this, as we saw earlier. So this is the file that will output binary and binary. It's going to have information field like names, path size, and it's important for us to access the information. These binary, we're going to get data. Now we will create a set. Here's the input, now we have the binary. It came out earlier. For example, this is the set, example is access. I will add a new field. Now I want to get this file name. For example, we will name the file name. How to get this file name is, we'll choose expression. It is now binary. It can't drag through here. To retrieve this binary, we have understood the structure. On the other side, we'll type these to curly brackets. Here's the dollar. We saw earlier that we were retrieving the tricin. So now we're going to retrieve the binary. Then it will immediately take it all object. If the object below and want to retrieve the file name. So we'll dot here and the data will include. There are many object. There is an object called file name dot And then immediately we have the result. File name. You know code structure clearly. Same thing if you want to get it. One more field. Is a file type. The same. We choose expressin. 
then enter dollar binary dot data. DOT file type. And we'll have a photo right away. Same with other field. This file size we can extract out all, so we understood it all. JSON and binary. In the next section, we will find a lot. We use a lot JSON. We understand its way. Its structure will be very favorable. We're in the later part to do these complicated flows. Thank you guys for following the clip. If you find the clip helpful, don't forget to like it. Share to support the spirit. It was a great motivation to make the clip. Don't forget to subscribe to your YouTube channel. Follow the news. Knowledge. Technology of technology product reviews. Goodbye and see you later.